TikTok has an ad revenue sharing program called Pulse, and I finally figured out how it works. And it provides a blueprint for how Instagram and YouTube could also start splitting revenue with creators and publishers for reels and shorts, respectively. But first, we've got to go over why operating a revenue sharing program for these short form video platforms is so complicated when YouTube's been operating a revenue sharing program for its traditional long form videos for more than a decade. TikTok can't say that because they don't have the thing. What thing don't they have? They don't have a AdSense like model that shares revenue. What? They just have a creator fund. I thought TikTok already announced it's testing an ad draft share program. Yeah, TikTok Pulse, and it says right here, with TikTok Pulse, we will begin exploring our first advertising revenue share program with creators, public figures, and media publishers. Although, I don't see anything about how it's determining the revenue split, which wouldn't be straightforward since videos and ads are separate in feeds, so. All right, we'll have to ask TikTok about that one. YouTube already has the model everyone wants. Do you think it's the model or the technology that's the problem? Like, what's the difficulty of launching the thing? So I think for YouTube, it's very easy to say we will extend our current advertising model from regular YouTube to shorts. Mm -hmm. The problem to solve there is it's not pre-roll, right? It's in between swipes of video. Right, so you have to figure out who's responsible for the, for the impression. Like The Verge Editor-in-Chief Neil I. Patel said in that interview with Hank Green on his Decoder podcast, the tricky thing about running a revenue sharing program on a short form video platform, whether it's TikTok or Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, is that the ads appear separately between videos. Whereas on YouTube, the ads are inserted into the videos. This makes it easy for YouTube to split up the ad revenue because it just counts all the ads served to people watching a creator's or publisher's video. How would the revenue split work on TikTok then? Should the video that played before the ad get the credit? And what about the video that plays after the ad? Or all the other videos that don't play before or after an ad? So I emailed TikTok to ask and I got an answer. Only the video that plays before the ad is part of the Pulse program and eligible for a share of the ad revenue. The video that plays after the ad is just a regular video and does not qualify for a rev share. Also, a TikTok spokesperson said that it doesn't matter how long a person watches a video or watches an ad for the eligible video to receive a revenue share, meaning that a person could swipe right past the video, swipe right past the ad, and the creator or publisher still gets paid. So basically, TikTok has adopted a post-roll ad format for its revenue sharing program by effectively attaching ads to the end of videos and then sharing the ad revenue with the makers of those videos. Seems fun for a creator or publisher, but how do advertisers feel about this setup? To answer that, I talked with Stacey Stewart, who is the US Chief Marketplace Officer at UM Worldwide, an ad agency that has brand clients that have been testing out running ads through TikTok's Pulse program. Stacey said she was a little hesitant about TikTok Pulse being at heart a post roll ad program because TikTok's charging more for these ads than for regular ads, even though to someone using TikTok, it would be hard to tell that these ads are any different from a regular ad. But Stacy wanted to test out TikTok Pulse to see if the ads performed any differently than regular ads. And while she said she couldn't share specific results with me, she did say that all of UM's clients participating in the test have seen lifts in brand awareness as a result. This answers the main question of how an ad revenue sharing program could work on short form video platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts, where ads appear between videos in a feed. But how TikTok's program actually works opens up a whole other question. If a creator's or publisher's video must be followed by an ad to receive a revenue split, how many ads are gonna get crammed into people's feeds? Oh. Yikes.